Hey guys, welcome back to another video of CDB, and today we're going to be counting down the best players, the top 10 best players in the world as of season 3. Now, quick disclaimer. First disclaimer, this is all from solo performances only, and all the performances are from this season, so any other season doesn't count, and and even if even if they place really high in duos like they came like first in like the duo cup or if they placed uh like seventh eighth ninth tenth in the trios cup that doesn't count as towards this so you might not see your favorite pro on here but you know don't go crying in the comments there's the disclaimer <laughs> but yeah so um obviously myself from the front now we've got a few players and i cannot wait to show you to show you them all and my list i feel like this what this list is much more thought out me and a couple of my friends all thought out this list than my last one because obviously last season i did a countdown and i don't think there was i don't think the list was as thought out as it should have been but now it is so yeah i really really hope you guys will enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and yeah let's get into this guys i have a tiny thing to say I have opened up my Minecraft server. Now, I know this is so off topic, but I thought I'd let you guys know that I now have a Minecraft server. Uh, the link will be in the description to the Discord. Join the Discord, get the IP from there, and yeah. Sorry for, sorry for wasting your time about the Minecraft server, but I thought I'd just tell you. Let's get into the video. All right, guys. So, coming in at our 10th spot is MCES. Squeezy, I think that's his name. I'm really sorry if I messed up his name there, but he placed from newest to oldest. This will be he placed first in DreamHack semi finals, sixth in DreamHack finals, first in his FNCS heat, 11th in FNCS grand finals, and first and second in two FNCS qualifiers and 19th in the first DreamHack finals. MCES Squeezy is an absolute brilliant player and as you can see, yeah, he's consistently speaks for himself. Just proves that he's been so consistent this season and I'm more than sure he will do even better next season and maybe it will be bumped up the list next season. Coming in at our ninth spot and it is Kami FN. Now, he is a Polish pro with, he can, uh, yeah, I think he might be keeping him off, but I'm not sure. But anyway, he got 8th place in the cash cup, 5th in FNCS heats, in his heat, 36th in FNCS grand finals, 3rd in uh, FNCS qual 4, 1st in burger cup, 4th in DreamHack finals, the first one and 11th in last FNCS Grand Finals. As you can tell, he is another one. Consistency. He's not getting first, second, or third every single time. Well, he has got it a couple of times, but you can just see his consistency around the board. He's always sticking around that 20, the 20 to 10th spot. And it just amazes me how a pro can do that good in such like an RNG game. Eighth on the list, we have got Gambit's Twos. He placed first, first again, seventh and thirteenth in a solo solo cash cups, thirty third in FNCS Grand Finals, first in FNCS qualifiers number three, and tenth in DreamHack Finals, the first one. As you can see, even his solo cash cup performance is amazing. One of the best I've seen since like Benji Fishy dominating in Chats Two Season One. I haven't seen someone that consistent in a cash cup since, really. But yeah, uh, 33rd in F2 Grand Finals. Obviously, it's not that great, but still, realistically, if you think about it, that is still amazing compared to what other pros are getting. And 10th in uh, DreamHack Finals, still another brilliant tournament for him. But yeah, that is why Gambit 2 is 8th. Coming in 7th on the list is a fan favourite. Benji Fishy. Now, obviously, Benji Fishy was first for my top 10 last season, but no, I, I think he's still an amazing pro. He's gone, he didn't perform that one in solos, 
but if this was just an overall i think he would have he would have been like top three at least if this would have been solos and trios but obviously it's just solos so i think benji deserves a solid seventh place and uh yeah so coming into his placements he got first second and 19th in a solo in solo cash cups fourth in his fnts heat and 59th in grand finals of fnts he also got sixth in dream hack first in uh fncs qual 2 and 33rd in dream hack final i obviously benji fishy benji fishy a brilliant player and uh yeah sixth up on the list is the world cup solo champion himself booger i believe he should be sixth for lift because obviously booger has in my opinion as some sort of comeback season for solos he's done so well so consistent and overall just brilliant so obviously his placements are fourth in dreamhack finals third in a solo cash cup fourth in fncs grand finals second in fncs qualifier two and 25th in dreamhack finals as well just by looking at that he's so consistent he's towards the end of the season he's got Top 10 every single cup apart from the last dream hack, but the last dream hack was still brilliant. 25th was amazing, but yeah, he's so consistent. And as you can see, he's, he hasn't got like a lot of placements, but he's, all these placements that he has got has been like top 10 or top 5. Amazing, brilliant player, 10 out of 10, and that's why I'd, I think he deserves sixth place. Coming in to the top five, it is none other than Wave Janice. Janice has made a mad improvement. To be honest, last season, I placed him eighth because I thought it'd be a one season wonder, you know. I thought it'd be this season, he'll do so well, then just drop off, but clearly not. He has just knocked out of the window again. It's mental on how he's doing this well. All the time, every time. Obviously, you didn't know last season, he came first in FNCS um, Grand Finals, but this season, he hasn't came first in FNCS Grand Finals, but he's done brilliant. So, here's his placements. He came third in the most recent Dream Hack, second in the solo in the solo cash cup, fourth in his heat for a solo FNCS, 39th in solo FNCS, 41st in FNCS qualifier four, and 131st in the Booger Cup. His placements are just insane, and even judging it from last season as well, he just carried that consistency and just pushed through more and more. Absolute amazing player and well deserving of his bump up from from this from eighth to fifth in my opinion right then on to the fourth spot and it's actually an oce pro now you might be shocked but it is jinx jinx is amazing obviously i'm not really in touch with like oce and kind of any region outside of eu and a na east and na west but I do tune into it sometimes and I always see Jinx on top. I was just looking through the leaderboards and I see Jinx, Jinx, it's just Jinx, 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 Jinx. He's came fourth in solo in a solo cash cup, first in solo FNCS, 13th in his heat for solo FNCS, 14th in FNCS qualifier four, 11th in another FNCS qualifier three, 18th in FNCS qualifier two, and 9th in FNCS qualifier one, and 12th in the bigger cup. As you can see, he's just always placing, placing, and placing. And for OCE, I think he's probably the best player in OCE 100% and the fourth best player in the world. Coming in at our top three. We're on the top three now. We're at the best of the best, best in the world. And we have 100 Thieves, Arkram. Arkram has been, has been there since like World Cup. He qualified for World Cup. He's just brilliant. And he's, in my opinion the best na west player and the third best player in the world so his placements are as follows second in two solo cash cups first in his heat in solo fncs second in solo fncs finals first in fncs qualifier three and third in fncs qualifier two as you can see by this just consistency in the whole of fncs he's just brilliant you can see how well he places whenever he's in that position where he needs to he does it and that sort of consistency is the best when you're looking for a player and yeah 
That is why I think he deserves third in the entire world. Right. At second place, we have Tayson. Tayson wasn't on my list before last time. Maybe he should have been. Maybe he shouldn't have been. But he is Janice's duo. And he is the best player in the EU in season three by far. He came first in solo FNCS. First in his heat for solo FNCS. Seventh in the first Dreamhack this season. Third in FNCS qualifier three. And 18th in FNCS qualifier one. Just looking at that consistency, he is amazing. He literally qualified for FNCS heat on his on the first week. No, no worries for him. It's too easy for him. He's brilliant, amazing player, and well deserving of second spot. And the thing that's crazy to me that Tayson and Janice are duos. Now, <laughs> he, uh, Janice won last solo FNCS, and Tayson won this solo FNCS. So, in my opinion, this just proves that they are the two best solo players. Two best solo players as a duo, if you kind of know what I mean. Brilliant and well-deserving of second place, in my opinion. And the best player in the entire world of Chapter 2 Season 3 goes to... Coop. I believe Coop is the best player in the world purely because of this. Hear me out. Here are his placements, okay? Don't get angry yet. Here are his placements. First in DreamHack Finals. 94th in DreamHack Semi-Finals. 35th in a Solo Cash Cup. And first in Solo FNCS. As you can see, every single major Solo tournament, he wins it. There's just... It's nothing about it, he just, he just wins it. Like, there's not there's nothing stopping him. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't know how this is possible. I, I don't know. I'm baffled on how we can win every single major cup. It is amazing. And that is why I think he deserves first on the list. Guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys like this top 10. I think this top 10 was the best top 10 I've ever made so far. And hopefully next season we'll be seeing some new faces in the top 10. I'm going to try to make this a series sort of thing. Like at the end of every season we're going to do a top 10 of the best players. And I'm going to make this a series unless you guys say you don't want it a series. But I think you guys really enjoy these sort of videos. So I'm going to be making these videos all the time. or well, not all the time. <laughs> after every season. Uh, but yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I'm really, really sorry for the Include Your Favourite Pro, but in my opinion, if I didn't, they just haven't performed well enough in solos. But if it was like a top 20, maybe they'll be in that, maybe they won't be. So please don't go crying in the comments, I didn't pick, I didn't pick Favourite Pro at Mongrel, Metro. They just didn't perform, in my opinion. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a brilliant day. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow my Twitch. CDB was taken. And have a brilliant day. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Hmm.